this evening's theme. So it's uh, for five dollars. Yeah, what else? I'm gonna take these ones. I don't know what these are, but they look different. So bit of colour for that. Two dollars. So that's uh, seven all up, is it? Oh great! That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. See ya. Have a good day. Bye. So this here's the junk pile, and it's all destined for the tip. Bit of old corrugated iron. It's no longer corrugated because it's all bent out of shape. What can we make out of this for the glass house? Got any ideas, mate? Anything we can do with that? What do you reckon? We got this pile of offcuts and rubbish left over from the veranda. It's all going to get thrown out. It's tantalised. Oh, look at that pace. That's a nice bit, isn't it, mate? Mm. What else we got in here? Some more squares. Something a bit bigger. What about some of these? These ends. What do you with that? Hey, what do you reckon, pace? What do you reckon, mate? Bit of timber in here, isn't there. It's too good to throw away. It's a piece of off cut. Probably a rat in there too, eh, pal? Yeah, what do you reckon? I've added another piece to the end so it's high, keep the dirt in. And I've cut a couple of bits, this not being one of them, a pace, no, that one there is. I'm gonna stick that in there just to bring it up, and we'll stick another one in this end here too, just to keep uh, a little bit of separation. Should be pretty good, and then she's done. Oh, I want to smack some holes in too, drainage. Audio, that. There's all the screwing and drilling. Let's smash some holes in, put some dirt in it. With the drill, it took me about two or five minutes. To smash some holes in it. So she is good to go in the glass house. Look at that. What do you guys reckon about me planter? You like it? Hey? Eh? Made out of recycled decking? Post says, yeah, that's awesome, don't you, mate? Pace likes it too. And a piece of corrugated iron that was decent to be thrown out because it was crooked. I reckon it's good. It's going to be funny if it doesn't fit in the glass house, isn't it? Moment of truth. She's going to be a, a shit. Holy shit. I lost that four years ago. That's my meat cleaver. That's from Athol. Holy shit. I never thought I'd find it again. Pace, look at it, mate. Okay, it needs a new handle. We can build a handle for that, can't we? Yeah! Happy days! That's a real good meat cleaver. I lost the bastard, because I'm useless at putting my tools away. And I paid the price. We'll keep that. Yes! That has cut many of your mate's heads off, that's right. Well that pace is going to be a, a job for another day, yeah. Right, oh, no, back to me planter. Oh, listen to that. Whoa. Oh, she goes through the door anyway. A bit tight. She get a fit pace? Yep. She'll fit. Too easy, mate. Look at that, eh? <laughs> what do you reckon, pace, eh? Reckon that's pretty cool, eh? I reckon so. Yeah. Oh wow, it's going to be awesome, that's right, that's going to be awesome. Shall we move to one end, then we can plant something at the other end. I might straighten it up a bit, 
before I start putting dirt in, straighten it up just with the old gum boot. Here we go. Too easy, look at that. Sorted. So one of you guys told me that half compost and one bag of potting mix is a good mix, so we'll try that. You down with that pace, eh? Nice soil, look at that. Can I get it? Might add a bit more to it. Three bags of potting mix. Yeah, we're gonna stick some, some compost in here. Maybe a couple of bags between the three. Eventually I'll start making my own compost. Well, actually I've already started. But because I'm starting fresh, I don't want to stick the soil on I've got around here, even though it's good soil, but it's just full of weeds, or seeds of weeds. And it's amazing how many seeds of weeds there is and just a bit of dirt from outside there. So this gives me a sort of a fresh start where I'm not spending so much time weeding. And uh, for the price I paid, I think I paid six dollars for the the uh, the mix, and I paid eight dollars for the compost and two bags of compost. They'll do all of this, so it'll be sweet as. And I'll I'll mix this in again in a minute just to give it a good mix up. Gonna just mix this all in a bit more. And we're gonna put some water in there too. Got some guys trying to help me. We went hunting yesterday, didn't we guys, eh? Heaps of goats, but no pigs. We went hunting goats, we we're hunting pigs, so it wasn't ideal. No. And Poe, you'll be going to the vet soon because you've got cancer that's growing in her. Hey mate, I look down here and she's getting really quite bad. See the lump there? Lots of big lumps in there. It's got bigger and bigger. I was giving her cannabis oil, I worked for a while, but then I stopped, ran out and then just took off. So I think the thing we're going to do is we'll get you spayed, get that cut out at a pace. So no more pups out of you two. No more rumpty pumpty pace. I was hunting in Murchison with Jason and he has a garden, an awesome garden, and he gave me this bok choy, which I'm going to stick in the planter box at the end. I'll put a bit of water in. And I love this plant. It's a great plant to eat, to stir fry. I think you can even have it raw in a salad, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can. I just stir fry it. I'm just going to go like this. Make a big trough. I've put plenty of water in, so it's quite damp. Oh, I could put a bit more in too, just just to be to be sure. You never know. Don't want it to uh, dry out too much. And I'm going to put a bit of water on top of these guys too, just to make everything sort of break down a little bit, open up. You guys told me that. You said put water in. And, uh, gee, oh, I don't know. How are we going to go with this, Jason? I might need two hands, I think. That's my first plant in my, my new planter. Stick a bit of water on that again. Help it uh, settle in. There are a few weeds in here, but Jason said don't worry about them. So if he says don't worry about them, I won't worry about them. What do you reckon, Pace? Do you reckon they'll, they'll make it or do you reckon they'll die? Don't know, eh? Plenty of water, plenty of love. Maybe they're too hot right in the front window, I don't know. Still got plenty of room to plant something else in there, eh? So we put some lettuces in there. I bought these in Motawaka today off an elderly lady in the street just driving past and she had a stand and I went over there and bought some plants and this is one of them. Can someone tell me what it is? It's some sort of lettuce, but I don't know. She didn't know either. Her husband planted it, but I'm going to grow it in here. Now there was four little plants in there. And probably probably too close together for lettuce, so I don't know. She's all guesswork. I'll put that one on there like that. A nice little lettuces. So these uh, people, they started doing what I was doing. They started growing stuff during lockdown and having a garden. They've got a glass house. I think rather than cram them all, I'm just going to put one in there. and Because uh, I've got two left, but I want to have a bit of room so they can they can grow. Put that down there, and the rain's starting to come. I was hoping it wouldn't, because I want to walk the dogs without getting wet. And that looks pretty good. And this one can go on this side here, just to finish up next to his mate there. Won't matter to have different varieties in different places. Just pat it in like that. And yeah, the rain is coming in here on the glass house. 
So I could carry on working at your own pace without getting wet. Get your head out of the way, mate. And I'm gonna, gonna put some more dirt around that there just to water those in. They should be all right, eh? Tell me if I'm doing anything wrong, guys, because I don't know. It's the first time I've done it like this. Seeps of water. I'm gonna drown the poor bastards. That's it. Nice. And that is my planter. Done. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow, I'm gonna plant out these ones here. And the plants I bought from Ali Cook's stand. But right now, it's time to walk dogs. Hey, I'd really like to thank you guys that know about gardening that have been sharing your info with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, sharing information is such an awesome thing with the internet. In fact, it's one of the really good things about the internet. So, I appreciate it very much. If you see me doing uh, things that could be done better, just speak up, don't worry. Uh, I'm really grateful for your help, I really am. This is uh, just a, a vlog at home. I really love gardening. Thanks for joining me. And, uh, be good. Can't be good. Be careful. Right, I'm going to need a raincoat before I start walking these guys, otherwise I'm going to get wet.